Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are over at Osgareth because uh, that's my only uh, guide uh, travel skill at the moment. We travel here from the Shire from the last episode, but upon coming over here, and the point of coming over here was to complete uh, or to start uh, Book 2, Chapter 4, Light in the Darkness, that part of the main quest. I actually got a uh, quest thing that I had to accept pretty quickly. It said I had like a minute left, so I thought I'd just go for it. I haven't finished it yet, but it is uh, Hunt for Buried Treasure. Uh, so we get this. We actually get, I think, some XP out of it. 1,045, but I think that's not what we want to do there. I think this is going to be interesting. I think... Um, yeah, this is an Eridlin, so this might be the same as the one we did last time, which means we could get a pretty cool steed out of this. So I think it's pretty cool that we can do that um, as a similar to, like, uh, last time. If it is the same uh, and runs at the same sort of time, I might do this off camera and maybe just sort of record whenever I get to the next level if I get to that XP. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's pretty much the same. But while we are here, we can actually have a uh, look at our hobby gift of the day. What is it? 10% uh, uh, speed run boost thing. But um, yeah, these are actually, uh, assuming, oh, we might have to go through the tutorial again. Um, treasure hunt. Okay, so I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to do these because I think it would be uh, pretty cool and uh, it's always a nice thing uh, to do this. So we need to uh, do these. I will do, I think, one. One for this episode, I think. Um, just because of the nature of it. Did we just get some pickaxes? Oh, we did. Awesome. So, um, I don't think a, yeah, a new round has begun. We are not going to go for the new round yet. Uh, we actually want to get some berries and stuff uh, because we don't want to waste our pickaxes. Um, so we got to go find those. They're a bit more difficult to find sometimes depending on how many people have got to them. Uh, but I think most people will be focusing on the whole, uh, the whole <laughs> digging thing at this current moment, so that's pretty good for us now. Uh, and see someone got it pretty much straight away. So our focus right now is on the berries, not the dig sites. Uh, so we're going to do that. Gets a bit of XP, as you can see, I gave us uh, the simple one where we just had to talk to the other guy. Uh, it was 627. Uh, I don't know if we actually have to physically do anything for that one. I can't actually 100% remember. But uh, yeah, it's 627. I think we can do this every 15 minutes. Uh, so that's actually a pretty cool uh, thing that we can do, and something I definitely will be taking advantage of, not just on this character, on other characters as well. Um, but yeah, as I said, we can actually get some pretty cool uh, items out of this, specifically a, um, a faster steed. Actually, not a faster steed, it is a, speed, a steed with the same speed, but more health, uh, 250 health to be exact. Uh, we can also get... Uh, an item that can help us very uh, much in the later times when we get to uh, Moria, which uh, is basically it is a 68% speed, 250 health, so the same as that bigger one, uh, but it is not a horse, it is like uh, a goat, I think it would be, uh, which you can't use horses in Moria, so, uh, or at least specifically in that area of Moria that we get to first. Not sure about the other bit, I haven't been there yet. <laughs> But yeah, I got those. That's pretty good. Uh, sadly, um, I do actually have two, two of that steed. Uh, one I actually on my main character. Uh, one that I actually got first time. It just sort of went straight into my skills. And another one which I actually get now. So I have two of it. Fortunately, you can't trade them uh, or even between accounts. It seems or like characters on the same account. So if I could, I would send it over here. But uh, it seems that that's not a thing. I really hate this quest. It's impossible to actually do. I swear. Um, we only found three, we need two more, and, ah, berries, good. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, this might just be this episode, which actually might mean it's a bit of a shorter one, uh, which I kinda need to do. Um, you may have noticed yesterday there was no video up, which should have been a Glitchcraft video. Uh, I was actually out, uh, all day on Friday, uh, so I didn't actually have a time, to, uh, a chance to do anything in terms of that, so I've now pushed that push that to the Wednesday episode. Uh, so this video might be a bit shorter, depends. Uh, maybe we'll do a few digs uh, and see what we get. See where we end up there. And I'll do maybe a few more of these. Next episode we can do uh, the quest that we meant to do, uh, the weather top, and yeah, just see how it goes from there. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty cool. So we actually um, 
get, let's see, yeah, every 15 minutes it seems, and uh, I think you can buy, At your service. Uh, that's food, you can actually barter um, these tokens, buried treasure tokens, which, if I uh, press B for our mm -hmm. wallet, we can actually remember that uh, it goes into our wallet because we actually got a uh, the upgraded wallet, so we can actually get, oh, oh, that's so we can get back here. Right, I was I just thought it looked weird because of the uh, cooldown, but we can actually buy cave claws for one dowsing gems for one, or sorry, cave claws for five dowsing gems for one. But we are going to be fine for now. So a new round has begun. I think. Uh, do we want to wait out this round? I think we might want to, but basically at this rate, that means that we can get uh, whatever 627 is. So that's what 1,254. Uh, XP every 15 minutes, which is a very good amount. I'm actually just going to go on a dig site. Screw it. I'm not. I don't even care. Very treasure token. Something I also just realised. Right. So how are we going to do this? If I because. Something we have here, and that means we're actually just going to have to quickly go back to our um, our vault. But if you remember correctly, we obviously have done this event before, which means we should have some excess items from the last time we did it. So maybe some more pickaxes, maybe some more cave claws. Uh, probably not any delving gems. I don't think I really held on to those as much. They weren't really you know, worth much in my head. Uh, but if there is a, a travel here, which looks like there is a stable master, which means we might be able to get back from Bree pretty easily, we can, can west Bree, travel for free, uh, go to our vault, check in there, and then travel back for free as well. Uh, it doesn't actually matter what side it throws us on, both have vaults. Uh, both sides of Bree have vaults that we can get to, and auction halls that we can also use. If needed, but it is going to go to my preferred side, which is nice. Uh, oh, didn't even realize that's all over there, but right, so we now got that one, so we know where to go. And then we'll go in here, and I don't actually know if we have anything, I won't really guarantee anything, but it's, uh, there's a chance. Hello there. Right, uh, so yeah, we got a pretty ton of items. We actually got a dowsing gem here, we also have some. Pickaxes, as you can see, we now have 11 pickaxes and two gems. And do we have any uh, cave claws? No, unfortunately, we do not. So that's uh, unfortunate. The probably well second best item, best item being the pickaxes themselves, because otherwise we actually can't do anything. Um, but we can now travel back for free again, which is good. No waste of money happening at all, and. Uh, yeah, that we can start digging uh, a bit more uh, for a few more minutes. Let's see. Oh, my mouse keeps on acting up like that. Really not fun. One day it's going to end up killing me because I'm going to be in the middle of a battle. My mouse is going to disconnect, and then I'll die. So we're now going to have to see, I guess, uh, how it is for. Uh, actually, let's go to our normal spot, the spot that I preferred, uh, and then see how that goes because. Uh, if nobody's there, we have a. I think it's. Well, there's two good spots that I found last time that nobody else really seems to go to. Whether or not that means it's a good spot it still remains to be seen. Still not. Do we want to. Do we. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. I want to see if we can find anything cool. Large. Large dig site. Not huge. Huge is the winner. But we did get a large treasure cache, and we didn't get anything other than that. Which means we got out of that, well, we got three treasure tokens, but we actually got an extra buried treasure token out of it, uh, or an extra nine, rather. So let's actually get to use this dowsing gem that we have, and see if we can slight reading. Um, gives us a medium. I think we have all the medium stuff, but again, I want to be a, bit, a little bit risky. Treasure tokens, we also got a medium. Uh, we also got a pick out of it, so it didn't waste a pick, and we also got a treasure cache out of it, which gave us a wooden cave claw mask, which we actually already had, but I want to see how it looks. It's pretty weird, uh, to say the least. 
God damn it, my mouse. <sighs> right, so... <laughs> really? Has nobody found anything yet? I'm gonna go on a digging spree. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm glad it only uses the pick after you actually, uh, you know, have, have finished using it. The unfortunate thing here is now we don't have our lovely, uh, cave floor. But, which I generally like to have at least one at the beginning of each round, but uh, we can have a little test of the delving gem uh, when they turn up. Let's have a look at this one. Very weak. Oh, no. Okay, that one's very weak. Let's go for whatever this is. Been lucky so far. We got a dowsing gem out of it. How about we use it on this one? I'm being really desperate right now. You can tell. It's slight reading, which means it's a medium, which is possible. We can get another uh, treasure pick out of it potentially, or a dowsing gem. So we're basically hopping between dowsing gems. It's pretty, very weak reading. So we're not going to go for those. Very weak readings, eh, not a good idea. Round has ended. Right, so we have eight. We got one cool thing. What I'm going to do, as I said, is uh, every so often I'm probably just going to go between uh, between this area, between characters, depending on uh, what else I'm doing in time. Um, and, you know, do some of the quests here. I think, really, the, there's, there's the cool emote sort of things you can get from this and the XP. Uh, other than that, the steeds, there's like three cool things you can get from this. So it's really the XP that I'm focusing on, I think, uh, for the best. It's just to focus on that. Uh, so obviously, uh, between that we have to wait every like 15 minutes or so, as I said. Uh, let's, for example, look. We've got eight minutes here, and however long this took in between, we can actually see. Uh, that We have four minutes left, so it's best for us to just wait and uh, yeah, focus on this. We can get, obviously, uh, travel to Bree uh, pretty easily. Uh, well, fairly easily. We do actually have this. We really desperately need to go back to... Actually, let's go back to Selenium. So uh, we can still get back to Bree, technically, um, which is good. We can go back to Bree if we need to and come here for free, obviously. Uh, but I am going to go and also uh, not waste this time, I guess, and go and... You know, uh, I guess it, it, depending on how long this lasts, I can stockpile a few things up and go for a pretty good few rounds. I think that would be good as well. Um, I just get to level 100. Uh, I was focusing on someone else. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop this episode now. I'm probably going to go over to uh, back to where I was planning to go today, uh, the Lone Lands, and uh, we can go for the uh, Light in the Darkness quest that we were supposed to do. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you tomorrow with us doing Agnes.